2 a.m. on the edge of Calais' main migrant camp, and the ambulance is here because a man's collapsed, waiting to climb into a lorry. This way, in the highway. This way, the highway. His friends are from Afghanistan. He's taken to one of Calais' two hospitals. The next morning, and this 18-year-old from Eritrea says there's something wrong with his feet. He can't walk anymore. After he's taken to hospital, his friend Sammy tells me he hurt himself breaking into a truck stop. Sammy's been treated himself this month. He says he was found by police in a lorry, and when he resisted, he was hit. They pull you out of the truck? Yeah, they push me out, then they start beating my leg. With what? With black stick. With a black stick? Yeah. The migrants' homemade camps might not be costly to build, but looking after people who live like this takes a lot of hospital time. And they take dangerous risks daily. Our hope is dangerous. We will risk our life. Mahmoud's friend, Mohammed, was on top of a lorry ten days ago when it started to move. Then he fell. He so fell the, to down. The driver drove so fast that he fell off the yeah, top? Yeah, he fell off from the top. Wow. He broke his head. His, he had his hand, and last Sunday, last Monday, he was too much in danger, you know. Maybe his life was too much in danger, but thanks to God, to God, he will okay now. But a life lived in limbo isn't just physically draining. Jackie says he sees migrants deteriorating mentally too. He's worked with them for a decade. It's constantly being chased by the police, constantly being wake up in the middle of the night, uh, facing problem with... Uh, uh, the, the, the smugglers. To me, the most important suffering that they, they felt is mental because of, of the stress and the pressure that they are, they are submitted to. Inside the camp, no one talks about the fact that their presence here is controversial. The politics don't register. It began to rain hard this afternoon. These people want more than ever to finish their journey to make it to Britain.